Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Three remarkable artifacts of American history were sold at Sotheby's today. They're really all three of these items coming up today are icons. The first, so the Kennedy-Lincoln Emancipation Proclamation, was the document signed by Lincoln that freed the slaves in 1863. And I uh, also collect uh, things having to do with American history. Bought by Robert F. Kennedy in 1964 for $9,500, it sold to an anonymous buyer today for more than $3.7 Our next sale is Custer's last flag. General George Armstrong Custer and his 7th Cavalry all died at the Battle of Little Bighorn, but this flag survived. It sold for $2.2 But the last item up for sale would bring the highest price, two pieces of paper. And to think that without those two pages, there would be no game of basketball. The two typed pages on which James Naismith laid out the rules of his new game in 1891. Where had the rules been kept all these years? Oh gosh, see, uh, my grandfather had them in the desk drawer until 1939. After more than a century in the family, Jan Naismith was selling them to raise money for the family charity. And on my left, the $3,800,000. When the gavel came down, they set a record for sports memorabilia, more than $4,300,000. The buyer, fans of Kansas University, where Naismith was the first basketball coach. He read about the, the rules being auctioned off, mm -hmm. and he came up with this idea. Lauren Swade's husband, Josh, made it his mission to bring the rules to the school. And so he didn't have a whole lot of time to try and meet people and, and raise the money, and believe it or not, he did it. He persuaded David Booth, a mutual fund CEO and Kansas alumnus, and his wife, Suzanne, to bid. Turns out to be a pretty good Christmas present. Yeah, to, to KU, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.